Hello friends, welcome back to channel. Uh, in this video, let's solve this problem related to the moment of inertia or second moment of area. Uh, second moment of area. So let's read the problem statement first. Moment of inertia of a square of a side A about its diagonal. So we have to found the moment of inertia of a square but about its diagonal not axis parallel to one of the side right so let's say if this is the case uh, let's say this is the square having side a now we have to find out the moment of inertia about uh, its diagonal let's say this is uh, the square a b c d and the diagonal is AC right now let's rearrange this uh, figure and uh, make this diagonal axis as a horizontal axis we know that this uh, one of the side of the square is A and this vertex is D right? so we have to found the moment of inertia about this axis now if we closely observe this uh, this uh, uh, rhombus is uh, is comprising of two square ABC and ADC now let's first talk about the upper triangle that is ABC We know the moment of inertia of a triangular section about its CG. So generally, the so let's first uh, discuss about the moment of inertia of this uh, triangular section ACB or ABC. We know that the uh, the center of gravity CG of a triangle is lying at a distance of h by three from its base if the height of the triangle is h. So if height of the triangle is h right so moment of inner uh, center of gravity is lying at a distance of h by 3 from the cg let's say this is the cg and this would be the h by 3 this is the centroidal axis cg right now we know the general equation for finding the moment of inertia of a triangle about its uh, cg right we know that ICG for a triangle is equals to base that is let's say we define the base base is B B H cube divided by 36 so this is the case for triangle right now we will use the parallel axis theorem for finding the um, moment of inertia about a particular axis which is parallel to the centroidal axis so here our centroidal axis is cg now we have to find out the uh, moment of inertia about ac so ac axis is also parallel to cg right so how to use parallel axis theorem in this case so parallel axis theorem says that ICG is equals oh, sorry IAC moment of inertia about AC axis is equals to ICG plus area into distance between centroidal axis and axis about which we are going to find the moment of inertia so H is nothing but a distance between these two axes in our um, this is the symbolic representation in our case this distance is h by 3 right now let's put all this value in this uh, parallel axis theorem equation so i ac moment of inertia about ac axis i cg axis from equation 1 we know that b h cube upon 36 b h cube upon 36 plus a area of the triangle 
we know that one half base into height one half base into height and h is nothing but the distance between this two axis and total axis and axis about which we are going to find the moment of inertia so that is h by 3 so let's count this as a h by 3 all square let's simplify this term bh cube by 36 plus this would be bh this would be h square by 9 9 to the 18 and bh cube upon 18 bh cube upon 18 so if you simplify this two down we will get bh cube upon 12 bh cube upon 12 so this is the ex, um, equation of moment of inertia of a triangular section about it's one of the base which is parallel to cg right bh cube upon 12 where b is the uh, base length and h is the height of the uh, triangle now in our case our square is consisting of this two same triangle similar triangle abc and adc moment of inertia of square is equals to 2 times moment of inertia of triangle ABC so it would be BH cube upon 6 2 into BH cube upon 12 so it would be BH cube upon 6 but we have to find out the moment of inertia in terms of one of the side of the square so let's convert the base into square right so for that let's say this is our side a so this would be again the side a and this would be the perpendicular these two sides are perpendicular so we know that using pythagoras theorem this base would be a square plus a square is equals to AC square so AC is equals to root 2 times A so base we know that B is equals to root 2 times A B is equals to root 2 times A similar way this height is nothing but half of this base if we consider this two triangle ABD right so in this case this total length of the diagonal is nothing but half of the BD right or half of the base so H is equals to B by 2 so it would be again A upon root 2 now put the value of B and H in this equation so what would be B is equals to root 2 A and H is equals to A upon root 2 a upon root 2 cube divided by 6 so root 2 a a upon root 2 so root 2 cube is 2 root 2 so root 2 root 2 got cancel out so this would be a by a raised to a cube by 2 and multiply with this a raised to 4 by 2 into 6 so ultimately we will get a raised to 4 upon 12 so mass moment, uh, sorry, area moment of inertia of uh, square about its one of the diagonal is equivalent to a raised to 4 upon 12. Uh, I hope you got the concept of parallel axis theorem. Alright, uh, do like, share and subscribe to my channel for, for such more content and hit the bell icon for latest notification.